Good morning, MFers. Welcome to the Southbound Tour, day number two. So I got some really, really good news and some really, really bad news. I'm assuming you guys are gonna wanna hear the good news first. So really, really good news, excellent news. We made it to Texas. We're at a sexy little lake that we've heard has been on fire. It's got slaunches. They're potentially on beds. I'm super excited, but the bad news, Joe drove here till four o'clock in the morning. Stayed up super, super late driving through the night to the middle of Texas. I have no idea where we're at right now. We got to the ramp and we figured out this. What the hell? Come on, there's no tire there. There's no, there's no bearings left. There's no hub. It's all gone. None of that. It was cold by the time we even figured it out. We have no idea when the tire flew off. The bearing went out clearly and the tire until it was gone and it chewed up the entire spindle and so we can't just go get a new hub or a new bearing let alone another tire to put on that but we're going to figure that out later we're going fishing now and the zark his, his master plan is f it let's go fish now and we'll figure that problem out later might be drop shipping a, a new something to one of our buddies' house that lives down here. Might be going to the, a trailer store and having them repair it. We have no idea. But one thing is certain, there's slaunches to be caught out there. Let's go. Pre-Texas interview with the Zark. Zark, how do you feel about the tire situation? Sucks. But we'll get her taken care of. Shouldn't be a problem. I think we'll get her done. So we'll be all right. Any more headstands today? Uh, no. What happens if you catch a teen bass today? What are you gonna do? A teen? Teener. Shit yourself. Shit yourself. Beauty, you said you were gonna throw it back and with it in your hand. Yeah. Jump off the boat and do a pose in the air. All right, I will do that. We'll do that. Check. I guess we're ready to go then. Let's go. All right, we're in Tejas. You guys know what that means. You gotta pop out the moving mint. Joe's starting with top water. I'm starting with the movement. Let's go. There's what? Right. On the point? I didn't even right think I'm blind. I'm not very aware of my surroundings. What I've found from fishing a lot is you don't want to watch what's really going on. It'll just mislead you. See a big bass blow up on bait. Just keep fishing on by it for the next one. And this has been just the tip. Let's pocket. Now there's quite a few. There's a couple deep cuts on the, ooh, God, I just got clobbered. There we go. Yes. Oh God, <laughs> on the swim bait, yeah. crushed it, yes, nice. feels freaking good, hell yeah guys, first fish, looks like, I don't know if it's a bed fish or a post spawner, it's about a four pounder though, look at that swim bait, you think you wanted that swim bait, oh my God, all right, sick, my first Tejas bass of 2018. We we're just working down this bank right here. We noticed that it's uh, a lot sandier than the first spot we fished. We just made a little bit of a move. Water's a little cleaner. So we're kind of up looking for betters. And I cast it up ahead of the boat. And I think that big one was on this tree right here. And she just freaking thump. And then it just kind of came at me with it and was going straight sideways, buried them hooks. And she freaking got that swim bait deep. Got him. Yes, it is. Zark hooked up with the t -t 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 tank. Need the net, mean bastard. Oh, that's a good one. Well, unfortunately guys, the Zark just dumped about a six pounder, but you saw him jump a few times. So he basically almost caught it. The good news is he's got to do more handstands and maybe some more push-ups. Then I gotta fix the damn boat trailer. And then you gotta fix the boat trailer. Uh, I gotta bust out 20. Bust out 20. <laughs> 10, count them! <laughs> Digging. Solid one on the swimming jig. Nice one. Swim jig, eh? Swim jig fish. He might not be three pounds. Two, nah, and, a half. two and a half, probably. See ya. There's a little male. Eat it. He's underneath it, look. See him looking at it? Where's your mama? Or girlfriend, mistress? 
Well, quick little update. We've been fishing for about four hours or so. And I don't know, shallow bites really all we've, we've tried for. We went way up past the bridge in like the silt dam area where it's really muddy. And it was at the Dead Sea up there. We made a quick move. I caught a four pounder. Joe lost a big one. Joe caught another one. And then we just been kind of dipping into some of these little creeks, these little cuts. And there seems to be a ton of males on beds. Just trying to fish some windblown stuff, nothing there. So we're gonna go down the lake, fish a whole new area, try something, maybe find some big ones on beds, maybe find some big ones that are interested in fighting that were around beds. But regardless, the Zark is fired up. Oh God, big one, big one, net. Yes, dude, hell yeah, on the Hinkle Shad, <laughs> dude, that was such a weird bite, he like didn't even do anything, now I got him hooked in the back of the head, look at that, hell yes, that is sick, right on this tree right here, pulled this sexy new shot, I was just telling Joe, I was like, I just got this bait as a present to myself, and this big old <laughs> spawned out female just whacked it. Yep. There she goes. Oh god. Funny, I was showing Joe this bait that I bought. It's this ultra realistic. It's a Hinkle Shad actually, and it's wrapped up. I just bought this thing as a little present to myself, and it just slayed its first victim. It was probably like a five and a half, six pound pre-spawn female, only about a four spawn, four pound post-spawner. But so sick to catch one this way. I'm definitely going to be throwing this around quite a bit more the rest of the day. Ooh, follower, look. See it? Still there? <laughs> that was wild. That was a smaller one. That was about a three pounder. All right, this bait's sick. Oh, good one. Need the net? God, they're so strong. Dude, nice one. We're not doing bad today. Swim jig. Close to three pounder. That's right. Fat good on her. So you've caught all your fish on today. Yep. Uh, menace on there. Died it up. Little die. Looks like bluegill, I think. Yeah, right time of the year too. Post spawn, yeah. bluegill are probably starting to spawn. Well guys, we're not catching absolute behemoths here, but we are definitely getting some quality bites. Using some cool baits too. Baits we like to use. This is a bait I've never used. Joe's a freaking machine with the swim jig. He throws it more than I do even. Maybe. <laughs> Just kind of working through these post spawn pocket areas. Picking up one here and there, just kind of waiting for that big one to, to come on up and decide she wants to play. I think I think there's definitely potential for that to happen here. Oh, Jesus. There's Ark with a giant. Have you seen him? Uh-uh. Seems that way. Maybe not, nope, she's coming to the top. I'm going towards it, so ah, I'll let you take it. How big do you think that one was? Like 12? Oh my god. <laughs> that was a post spawner too. That was unbelievable. How's she looking? Good. 
Well, MFers, today has been a little bit hectic to say the least. We just spent the last four to five hours trying to deal with the trailer situation. Joe lost probably the biggest fish of his life. I know I was giving him a hard time about losing his PB like yesterday when he lost like a five and a six pounder. That, it didn't, I went back and looked at the footage, it didn't look huge. I've seen a couple 10 pounders in life. This was the biggest fish I've ever seen. At the very, very least, it was 10 and a half to 11. I personally, and the Zark thinks it was probably close to a 12. We've had all sorts of trailer issues, but now, as you can see, we have made it to a lake. We're doing a little recon session, about an hour and a half at this lake. It's a lake we used to know it's a power plant lake, but they shut down the power plant. So we don't know if it's gonna be on fire anymore, if it sucks now. No one's really been fishing it, so we have no idea. But that's usually when you can go out and catch one. What's I was saying to Joe, like when shit like this happens and you have terrible luck, things break down, it's been a hectic trip, you lose fish, you're struggling, that's when you're gonna go catch the fish of a lifetime. You gotta keep grinding, and that's what we're about to do. Let's go get a slot. All right, lake number two, guys. Been busy retying, saying bad words. Water looks pretty muddy compared to what it usually is in here. Look at some lily pads. Water 68, likely post spawners. There we go. Good frog fish. They're still fishing here. Get in here. Spawned out? Yeah, spawned out female on the frog. My first topwater fish of the year. Hooked in the bottom of the lip. That's where they're supposed to be, right? Hey, not a bad one. Looks like a spawned out female. Can't go wrong with that one. Sick. Get out of there. Nah, just like the last one. A little smaller. I will take him. Jumpingest damn fish ever in Tejas here. A little smaller on the last one. Three pounder. Ow! Not even three. I'm gonna get this back in that corner. I just wanted to hit this before I blew it out. The top water frogfish. Oh. Big one. Ooh, good one. On the buzzing bait. Atta babe. The Zark puts one in the boat. Used to be a five pounder. Good one though. Nice fish. Yeah. Hell yeah. On the rip and wrap. Thank you. fish, huh? Just find the sweet spot, Joe. Later, beef. A flippin' fish, not the flippin' fish. Been caught 96 times. Psycho. But hey, fun. Fun flippin' fish. Alright guys, today was uh, a little hectic to say the least, so what happened was last night we got to the lake, realized one of the tires was gone, and the entire tire was gone, the bearings, the hub, everything was gone, and the spindle was all sheared up and nasty, so we're like, screw it, we'll take care of it after we fish, we went fishing, caught some good fish, Jill lost an absolute giant. I, I look back at the footage, the, the footage did not do that justice. The fish, Joe's caught several over 10 pounds. It was the biggest one he's ever seen and hooked and, and had jump in front of him. It, it was easily 10 to 11 pounds. I thought it was probably closer to 11 to 12 pounds. So did Joe. And so it was extremely heartbreaking. Uh, but we went, we spent about three or four hours trying to get the, the trailer fixed. We couldn't find the right spindle and the parts and everything the the axle at the largest trailer fixing retail site in the entire united states didn't have the part we needed so we decided we were just going to use a hub kit we got on the spindle we said screw it we're gonna go fish another lake we've fished in the past and we went out there we caught a couple good fish so that kind of salvaged the night a little bit the day and then we went we went out to eat um got a video uploaded edited and everything and then we went to walmart got some stuff and then we we're like screw it we're going to lake fork that's where we're gonna start the morning so we just got to lake fork and we realized the tire is now blown through another bearing 
and so I think we might be rolling home on two tires instead of four tires 10 to 11 hours back to Nebraska so that's where we're at right now but uh, gonna hit the sack hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will catch you very very soon from Lake of the Fork a place where there are giants on beds a place that's probably we were talking about on the way here the most famous bass fishery uh, in history in the United States and maybe even the world and it's the place where I caught my personal best last time we were here and so hopefully we can make that happen once again and then we can figure out the trailer situation after that you guys know how it is out traveling grinding things always go wrong with the boat with with fishing tackle and fishing in general so you're gonna have to follow along next video see how we end up taking care of this situation hopefully it works out in the best probably won't Zark might end up in the water again He's got lots of push-ups to do, but we're going to bed. Catch you guys very, very soon. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.